What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we got kayaks in the back of the truck. We're on a little bit of a kayak adventure today, but first we have to go in Dick's because the lures that we're looking for are apparently all over Dick's. Like these are these are new Guggen lures that we just dropped, but Dick's has already got them, like an entire wall full of them. So let's get inside real quick and check and make sure they've got them, pick a couple colors and buy them. But before we do, remember guys, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers this year. 45% of you guys are still not subscribed. It's a red button right below the video. Click it, make it turn gray. It's free to do. You can always unsubscribe later. Let's get to a million, shall we? All right, I found the great section of revolver. You may be wondering why I'm holding a paddle. That's really none of anybody's concern. The bait that I'm referring to is the new revolver. Obviously, we just made this bad boy, just released it, and even more obviously, it's kind of a plopper style lure, if you guys are familiar with what that is. I've never put one of these things in the water before, so I'll be really interested to see, like kind of take it out of the package, look at how it's made, look at how the action is in the water. It's got treble hooks in kind of a unique place. So, and what's even more unique, I love this black one too, the the, uh, the midnight or the nightclub color. The, the plopper is actually in the middle instead of at the, the back, like the traditional ones are made. So I'm interested to see how this is gonna affect it. But I'm even more interested to see is if we can get fish to bite this topwater lure on a cold day like today. I mean, it's like in the 30s, might get up to the 40s by the time we get out on the water, but we're doing a few things that we just haven't done in a while. Kayak fishing, fishing top water in cold weather, just a lot of things that are not uh, typically ideal, but we're gonna go with it. So badge, I wanna get a few of these, okay? So what colors are jumping out at you when you just walk up? Cause we got the whole gamut. Shad, translucent like ghost shad, silver. We've got nightclub, which is black. We've got this crazy pattern, plain white, bluegill. What are you thinking for a pond, you know? Because we're going kayak fishing in a pond, so what are you thinking? I'm thinking either, I don't think there's any shad where we're headed, are I there? I don't think so either. I'm going bluegill all day. Bluegill is probably a smart bet. See, that's actually, yeah, ghost gill. So, no. I mean, definitely a bluegill type color. Looks good. I think that would be good. I think black is also gonna be good because it is cloudy outside nice. right now. Yeah, true. It's pretty overcast, pretty cloudy, and the water is gonna be super murky because it's been raining for five days. So this will kind of give maybe something to key in on. Um, is there just a regular bluegill or they all ghost scale? I think they're all ghost scale. Should probably, we got it, we got a plain white one in the truck already, right? Yep, yep. Like a little sample that I got way back in the day. Um, maybe we'd get one of those crazy looking ones too, just to have, you know yeah. what I mean? That thing looks freaking crazy. That the does pattern well. on that thing is insane. So yeah, let's just, we'll, we might, I might just go ahead and grab like two of every one, just so we have plenty of them for the, because for the springtime, this is gonna come in clutch here once these fish start moving up shallow which is gonna be literally any day now. So we're gonna grab some of these. Let's get to the pond and unbox these things, actually look at them, test them out in the water, and hopefully catch some nice fish in some frigid water. All right, let's take a look at one of these bad boys. Let's get it out of the package here. All right, be careful, because I have heard these hooks are sharp. Hills up with these seagulls, man. What the freak's going on? We're going hard. We at the beach? All right, so, okay, so that's like, Oh wow, this is this is this feels really weird. So it's got like the little like the little tail piece right there. This piece and this piece you can move them. You see that? It's like oh, they're they're, they're like locked in with the wire, but you can move them. And then you've got your little your plopper piece right here, obviously. And that's gonna be what catches catches the little the water. A little squealer in there. Oh. She needs some WD forty. Alright, so first impressions, man, I, mean, I don't know, what do you think? They look pretty sick. Big I wonder, hooks. I wonder if that hook's gonna get caught on that thing though. I don't know. I bet you it won't because when it's getting pulled, the, the water is gonna pull it back this way. True. You know what I mean? And this thing's gonna be spinning it. If anything, it'll just knock it away from it, probably. Yeah, the hooks are big. They're like oversized freaking hooks. I don't know. I mean, there's really only one way to do it. That's to uh, tie it on, start chucking it around. So it's an extremely windy day, which I don't like for a, a plopper style lure because I like a little ripple, but I like for more of like a buzz bait or even like a like a click bait or a, a zinger spinner bait or something on a day like today. But that's not the goal. The goal is to catch fish on these bad boys. What color did you tie on your rig? White? Yeah, I went straight white. After you picked bluegill in the store? Right. Oh my guy. That's well, me. White is certainly never a bad idea to throw. So whether there's shad in the lake or not, ouch. I got mine rigged on. We got a couple extra rods. We're going to bring the rest of 
our revolvers with us just in case we need to make a, a change or if we break off on a gosh darn monster. It would have to be a monster because this is straight braid on mine. If you guys want to get your very own revolver, obviously you can get them at places like Dick's or Academy, but if you're more of an online shopper, remember you can always get these at GuggenSquad.com. There's always a link in the description of my videos. It'll take you right to our website. And if you use code LOJO, you save 10%. It might end up being a little bit cheaper than it is at the store. So anyways, Badge, if you're ready, we need to slap some GoPros on and make the little treacherous journey down snake infested territory. Although it's cold, so the snake should be underground. But we gotta get through some muck, some mud, an alligator pond, and then we'll be in the bass pond. Okay, here we go. Down the path of doom. That actually doesn't look that bad. That's one of the good things about fishing here in the wintertime. The path kind of gets naturally knocked down and all the plants start to die and everything. So it's not nearly as bad. God, I almost feel like I see a bed right there. Oh, no, that's just a plume of dirt. I've already spooked every bass back here. That's dope. This is always the funnest part right here. Just trying to get like through all this really thick stuff. And get like into the water. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. In the summertime, this this matte stuff, it gets so thick. I mean, you literally can't even do what I'm doing right now. You basically have to walk your kayak out. Yeah, this wind is going to 110% be a problem. No, it's not a bed, it's not a, a plume of dirt. It's that thing right there. Hey, look at that, this, it looks like a bed. It almost looks like a freaking bed, look at that. That's wild and freaking insane. I am going to wait for badge though to get in before I start fishing because knowing us, I'll just catch a gosh darn donkey and he won't be here with the big camera so we won't be able to actually capture it for you guys. So let's wait on badge. But you know what though? I can't wait. I'll wait for him to actually fish, but we got to see what this thing looks like in the water. Let's do like a little baby flip like right here. All right, I want to hear that plop. And there she is. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It freaking looks good. One cast, just one cast, guys, that's it. Oh my gosh, that thing freaking churns up so much gosh darn water. I can hear it from a mile away. If there are bass in this pond, I think they're gonna respond very positively to that. Okay, it's kind of like a bone color with a little bit of a bloody, little bloody lip. Oh, baby. Oh, man. If it wasn't 30 degrees right now, oh my gosh, it looks good. Yeah, I know. It really looks good. Fish. Oh, it came off. Dude. I was literally just like messing with my retrieves. I wasn't even fishing for real. Dude, that was that was a decent fish, man. When I lifted up on him, that thing felt good. I think this braid and this heavy rod's a little much. I think I need to loosen it up a little bit. Like maybe drag needs to be, or maybe like not lift up so hard. Wow. All right. Let it be said, top water can catch fish in gosh darn any scenario. You just gotta have the right thing in front of their face. I know a lot of you guys might be thinking like we are absolutely insane to be throwing a top water in these conditions. And I mean, you're not wrong, but you gotta, just gotta trust me, okay? This particular pond, it's a, it's a spring creek fed uh, pond. So the water is naturally a little colder than it normally would be. Plus it's so shallow, it's a great top water pond. I've caught so many top water fish out here in unlikely situations. So, and plus we got that hit already right off the bat. And in uh, and, 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 and any, and any event, it's a great way to field test a new lure, to put it in a really tough circumstance and see if it can still at least produce some kind of results. You know what I mean? So but we're going to keep, we're going to give it a, a fair shake, but we do have some Texas rig worms tied on. So, or if, if we get like short struck or, you know, if a fish eats it, but doesn't get hooked, there's a lot of situations where a worm 
Mike can get thrown in the mix. So we'll see. We're going to give this thing its fair shake. We need to go around the pond at least one time throwing this thing at every square inch of it. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. dude, what a freaking hit. Dude, he hit it twice. Yes, it's a good one. Wow, that was nuts. Keep on being low, Joe. Jeez. Oh, God, he's pulling me into this stuff. Oh, my gosh, that's a decent fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Dude, that's a really nice one. He's barely hooked. I'm going for the flip. No! Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God, dude! <laughs> oh. What a boat dude, I my paddle was falling like there were so many things happening. Oh, that's gonna look great on instant replay. Oh, great! Now he's stuck in my freaking pedal. Yeah, sling those hooks into my legs, Big Daddy. Yes, do it. Look at that donk! Look at that freaking donkey! Look at him, badge! Look at him. Dude, that fish right there, that fat, probably a pre-spawn female, just absolutely hated this lure. Like she, did you, I, I guess you weren't looking. It came up and slapped that at once. Cause I saw white, but then it turned around and like charged after. It was freaking insane. What a fish, Badge. What a fish, man. Look at that, out of a tiny little pond. Good work, dude. Dude, that thing, it hit so aggressively. It was mean. Uh, it literally like swipe. I, I, it's almost like it spooked it, like it it swiped at it, or it spooked it, and then the fish was mad because it spooked it, uh, and it like turned around and chased it and then bit it. It was just really weird how it happened. Four point two six. I mean, gosh. I mean, we knew that's a four pounder all day. Uh, so it's got a huge head too. Yeah. But probably a pre-spawn female, possibly, because it's so fat, got a big head. It makes me so happy. Look, the tail's almost a little bloody, too. Oh, dear. It's starting to get bloody. That means it's, it's, it's starting to happen. Fish like this are going to start getting caught more and more. I'm glad to see this pond is uh, still doing okay. There's not very many of these big fish left, but there are some. Slowly kicks off. There she goes. To the depths. Dude, I, I hope the GoPro got all that because... I, I literally, I, it was right off the, you see the very edge of that grass right there, that yep. dead grass? Yep. It was right off the edge. As soon as I hit the edge, like a white thing came up and was just like, Pah. But that that's, that's where I think that she just like turned around really fast. And then all of a sudden from behind, it was just like, Pah. Oh just, my God. She came out of the water and everything. It was like a great white shark freaking breaching on a, a baby seal. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing looks like a baby seal. And as far as bass goes, that thing's definitely great white category. Let me ask you this, Badge. Have you just abandoned your... Your revolver well as soon as i put it down there? literally put it down for two casts and you catch a 12 pounder so look what happens then. yeah it's fantastic well and look i know it's cold but you got to know your situation that's the thing and in this situation this pond it's really hard to beat top water that's all i mean it's hard to beat a texas rig worm yeah. anywhere yeah. anytime but if you want a power fish and you want to keep on trying to catch big ones power fishing then this is uh it's one of those things, man. Come springtime, the revolver, it's gonna catch some more big fish like that. Look at the teeth damage she did to that thing right there. Look at all the scrapes and stuff. Gracious. <laughs> she freaking, <laughs> she was not happy. Whoo, how exhilarating is that, guys? Freaking heart is pumping now. It's just the way she attacked this. Like she was offended that this creature had swam past her unannounced you know what that fish could be about to bed you know what i mean that that could have been like a pure territorial bite like she might be since her tail is just beginning to get bloody that means she could be fanning you know trying to trying to well, i guess the males build the bed but i don't know she could have been getting close to getting on a bed i don't know you know it's always hard to tell because the water's still way too cold for that to happen but they could be thinking about it though Oh my God, I thought, I thought. Jesus. That was at least as big as that last one and it hit it the same exact way. Went airborne, chased it airborne. Oh my gosh. 
she hit it so hard that she never even had it in her mouth i shouldn't have set the hook i should have just kept reeling wow i don't think anybody's doubting <laughs> the revolver in cold weather anymore i don't think that's the conversation there's no way this fish hits twice like that again though right i mean there's no way that was going so slow right down this grass line gosh well we're one for three as far as hits and hookups and actually landing fish but jesus just getting bites like that i mean that just gets me that gets me going man i know you guys people are the same with top water i mean it doesn't matter who you are strikes like that that you can see and hear god they just do something for your heart it's probably not good for you or maybe it's really good for you hell i don't know that's the sound of freedom right there boy damn united states of america freedom <laughs> Things just got like bald eagles just like jumping out of it with parachutes. It's just freaking just so much America. Yeah. Yeah, those planes have been flying over us this entire time we've been fishing. It's kind of odd. I don't really know why, what they're doing. That's like the third one we've seen. So is it like Russians, you think? Oh gosh. Or China. I hope so. Probably Russians. Just dropping bombs. Yeah. Just mapping the earth where they're gonna drop bombs at. Right. Anyways, getting off track a little bit. So we decided to call it. We've got some other things we want to get done today. And really, we, I mean, we, we killed this mission. We wanted to take the revolver straight from the store, which it's now obviously everywhere, like we said, put it into a pond in the winter time. It's been freaking cold the last couple days. And we've actually caught some really nice fish during this whole Arctic chill thing. Yep. It's been pretty amazing, but four and a quarter pounder. I mean, I had another blow up that could have been the same freaking size fish, maybe bigger. Did you ever get a bite on the revolver? Um, no, no, I didn't. I think the color was just. I think that the black was the move. Yeah, it's a, the water's a little murky, overcast conditions. That normally tells me to throw a darker colored bait. So, and they they like it in here, but we wanted to give them a couple options. So, anyways, guys, remember you can get your own revolver if you're into the online shopping thing, or if you just want a little bit of a discount, you can get them at GooganSquad.com. Use promo code Lojo. That way you save ten percent. But. We're going to keep on making new baits, as you guys know, Guggen Squad. We've got tons, tons of even newer baits coming out. Uh, I can't even say what some of them are because they're, they're just so cool. But you guys are going to find out this year, we're going to be dropping probably saw a new product every just about every month or two. So um, we will make sure we let you guys know as they come out and as they're available to you guys. But this is going to be great. I don't even think we noticed what the price point was like a difference between these and like an actual Whopper Plopper. I don't know. I know that ours are 13 bucks. So well, normal Whopper Ploppers are a little bit more than that, I think. Like 15 I think or 16. 15 or 16. I think, we could be wrong, but but if you were to buy it online, 10%, that's gonna take off the sales tax. You maybe could get it a little cheaper than a Whopper Plopper, but that's the only comparison I'm making. I'm not saying it's better or worse. I'm just saying you might be able to get one a little bit cheaper. I like the hooks on that one. I like the design with the, the flapper in the middle. It's kind of a cool little design and it works obviously so that's the main thing at the end of the day but anyways guys make sure you're smashing the thumbs up button on these videos if you like them also make sure you're subscribing that way we can hit a million subscribers this year like we plan on doing anyways folks i love you thank you for watching we are out of here <laughs>